Hi, I'm Caroline Best of the Dow of Horsemanship, and this is Everything Horses and More video library. Today's topic is the three simple guides to riding with balance. After I explain this, I'm going to demonstrate with Lovey exactly what I mean. So there's three simple guides when you go to get on your horse to bringing more awareness and to checking yourself, both when you first get on and during the ride. So the three simple guides are correct body position and alignment. That's number one, when you first get on and while you're riding. Number two is finding your balance point, knowing where it is and feeling it where it is when you're riding and sitting on your horse. And the third guide is core, your core strength. We've all heard through our riding instruction, um, study, practice, training, about your pelvis and how important your pelvis is when you ride and how flexible your pelvis needs to be with the horses. It needs to be engaged and flexible in movement. And so your pelvis is obviously right here, but so is your stomach or your ab, or as we refer to it also as your core strength. And I'm gonna talk more about this when I get on Lovey, especially when you lose your balance, how important it is what to do when you lose your balance what part of your body needs to react immediately and react first. So often many of us tighten up with our hands, our entire body, our legs, and we lose our balance point. And if the horse spooks and they don't just spook in place, but they spook and drop a shoulder and get ready to turn and bolt, if you tighten up like that and lose your balance point, you're going to be thrown off your horse easily. And so I'm going to talk a little bit more about that when I get on Lovey. But just remember that correct body position and alignment when you first get on and during riding is number one. Finding your balance point and maintaining that balance point always is number two. And then your core strength, what you do with your core when you're riding and when you lose your balance. So those who know me know I prefer to teach and train riding bareback. I'd like to say I'm a natural at it, and while that might be true, I've also spent a lifetime studying the biomechanics of movement, both in horses and in riders and in myself. I've studied, diagnosed, and problem solved the many movements riders encounter and feel when riding their horse's movement. When it comes to riding with balance, neither a saddle or a bit will help you find your balance and keep it. The truth about both pieces of equipment is that one was designed to help the rider not fall off, which is your saddle, and the other piece of equipment, which is the bit, was to help you control the horse, which doesn't always work when your horse decides to spook and bolt. In the end, your relationship and work ethic with your horse is what's going to keep you safe and in control. And when it comes to riding with balance, as I mentioned earlier, the following three areas have helped thousands of my students over the years. Understanding correct body position and alignment where you need to be when you're on your horse and in movement. Second is where's your balance point and maintaining that balance point. And the third is your core strength and what to do with it when you're riding and when you lose balance. All right, I'm gonna go over and get Lovey. All right, so I'm gonna grab Lovey and we're going to demonstrate to you all the three simple guides to riding with balance and what you do when you lose your balance. So come here, love bug. Come get mama. Come on. Come on, baby girl. Thank you, sweet pea. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I get a hug. Oh, I got a hug. Thank you, love. I love my hugs. Come here. I need you. Yeah, a little closer. Well, thank you, sweet girl. All righty. So we're going to go over the first one, riding with balance. There's three simple guides. You need the correct body position. And it's not just, it's your whole body, from the top of your head down to your feet. Now, I don't have a saddle and stirrups. <clears throat> a saddle will keep your body in place. That's what it was designed for to begin with. I'm going to come on over. I'm going to 
Come here, love bug. Let's go on over towards the tree a little bit more. Come here, sweetie. All right. So one of the things that I talk about often in my riding videos, especially my riding basics, is the body alignment. So I follow centered riding principles and the great European dressage, European dressage masters. And so you always want a long leg, which means you have to have a longer stirrup. I don't care what discipline you ride in. Unless it's two point hunt seat, you have to have a short stirrup because you have to be off the horse's back or your jockey. But when you're in dressage, basic English, um, <clears throat> even your barrel racers who have their stirrups I see are often too short so it's throwing the, the rider, pushing the rider out of the saddle and definitely western or reining. So you want a long leg so that it pulls your seat down into your horse's back so it makes great contact and the heaviest part of your body that, that's connecting with the horse should be your seat. You should have weight bearing as they call it in dressage, weight bearing in your seat so that you can connect with your horse and tell them where you want to go and how fast. So if you look at my body, <clears throat> I should have a straight line from my shoulder to my elbow, to my hip, to my heel. Now I'm bareback. So again, I don't have a saddle that's conforming me to, in pushing my leg back. And to be safe, you're going to want your leg to be a little in front, meaning it's not, my, my foot is not behind me, okay? You're going to want that because the more my leg is out just a little in front of me when I'm bareback, the easier it is for me to, to put myself back on my balance point, which we'll talk about in a minute. So if I'm holding the reins, I don't want locked arms and I don't want to be touching my horse. I want a nice 45 degree bend, if not more. So the more bend in my elbow, the more relaxed my elbow is, which allows me to go with the movement of the horse. And the more bend I have in my elbow, if you just practice this right now, just sit in a chair or sit on something like a yoga ball or a barrel or your horse and notice, pay attention to when my arm is bent and by my side, it allows me to position my weight back more on my seat versus my hands forward pull me more forward and make me brace so that I don't get pulled forward, which you don't want. So proper body alignment is you don't want your chin down, you don't want to be looking down, <clears throat> so you kind of have to <laughs> wake up there, sweetheart. Do a body scan from the top of your head down to your toes and how loose and relaxed you are you should be able to relax all your body parts make sure you're not tight and that you are aligned this way now the second is going to be your balance point where is your balance point all right <clears throat> so you have your two sit bones left and right sit bones or seat bones you know where your pubic bone is you know where your left and right sit bone is which is on each side of your crotch and you know where your butt is your anus more specifically and you know where your tailbone is <clears throat> so i'm bringing all of this up because we don't want to be on our pubic bone and we don't want to be on our tailbone that's your barometer don't want to be too far forward on your pubic bone where you can feel the beginning of that. You don't want to be so far back that you feel your tailbone. You want to be between the left and the right sit bone or seat bone and your anus. So it's going to look like, I don't want to do this, like an upside down triangle. <clears throat> so the joints on my thumbs represent my seat bones and the point of my two fingers represents my anus. So that space in the middle, which is your crotch, to put it nicely, that's where the weeble wobbles, but the weeble doesn't fall down. That dates me. I used to play with weeble wobbles. <clears throat> weeble wobble was this plastic egg-shaped character that had a farm, and they were a character, so you had mom, dad, and the kids, but they were shaped like an egg. But there was a point at the base of the the bottom of the weeble wobble that was flat, just a little point that was flat so that it could not fall down. So that's your balance point. And it is on your body, everybody's body, between your two 
seat bones and your anus. That's the point that you have to find. Now not everybody can feel their seat bones and <clears throat> don't worry about it. Just make sure that you're not sitting on your tailbone or your pubic bone and make sure that you can really feel your crotch making the most contact with your horse. That's it. That's your balance point. Now, the core, the third guide to, to balance. Most people, and this is just human nature, it will go away though the more you practice, the more aware you are, the more confident you become as a rider, and also the more trustworthy horse you have. You'll relax more when you ride, but most people are tight, have some varying degree of tightness in their body, whether it's 10%, 80%. That's why we're doing this body alignment and bringing awareness. So when you're riding, are you tight? Are you still? So when I go off to ride, when I first get on, I'm checking my alignment, I'm checking my balance point. Now when I go to ride, come on love, my stomach's growling. It's close to lunchtime, come on. I'm moving her with my seat, right? But it doesn't mean my seat left her. I just pushed her forward. Okay, so as I'm riding, do I still have my body alignment? Do I still have my balance point? Can I still feel my balance point? Meaning, as she makes this small left circle, am I leaning on my left seat bone? No, I'm still riding straight on my balance point, and my body is still aligned, and my pelvis is open and engaged, meaning it's moving with my horse's movement. I'm not tight like this. Here's tight which I'm surprised she didn't stop riding, or locked up here, this is tight. I'm moving with my horse. My arms are slightly moving, my elbows, but my hands stay together, meaning they're not all over the place. So I'm actively engaged with my horse and I'm exercising my core, which is my stomach muscles, my ab muscles right now. So that's right where your belly button is, above your pubic bone and your belly button. This is your ab, your core. So if I tighten up my core, like do a stomach crunch right now, that would be the first place I would tighten to create a half halt, to rebalance my horse, and rebalance me. Most of the time though, we tighten up here. And the minute we tighten the whole body or tighten the hands, and let's say the horse is trotting and we tighten, when we create brace in our body, we create opposition to movement, thus we create bounce. <clears throat> so you need to practice paying attention to these three core areas, no pun intended, while you're doing a walk and then ease into a slow sitting trot, only three strides of slow sitting trot, back down into a nice big walk. When you can control that sitting, not losing your balance, maintaining your body alignment, being relaxed yet poised, then you can improve your trot tremendously. Not saying that your horse's trot is fluid though or smooth. Most of our horses aren't developed properly, so they make the riding very bouncy because they're not balanced themselves. So I'm going to ask Lovey to pick up a trot. <coughs> Come on. Come. One, two, one, two, one, two, and back down again. So I slowed her down through my stomach, through my core. And if I were to lose my balance, let's say she's trotting and she gets too big of a trot and it's bouncy. If I just tighten up my stomach, I can bring her to a halt. I didn't have to tighten up the rest of my body. And tightening up my stomach not only helped slow her down, it also helped me sit back on my balance point more. Meaning the minute you guys lock up in the rest of your body, you throw your body forward, you throw your body off balance, you create brace, you add to the bounce. So the best way, I'm gonna give you another little secret here as an instructor for you all to learn this, is just pick up a few strides of trot, sitting trot back down to a walk again until you guys can master controlling the movement through your seat, which is really your core. It's not your butt when I call it the seat. It's your core. 
not your hands. My hands are here as a second aid if I need them. I can shorten my reins and close my fingers around them. But my high Riley girl, my seat or my core either goes with the movement like now or it locks up and slows the movement down to a halt right here. So that's the secret to rebalancing yourself and the more advanced you get in your riding, advanced riders know this, it's also the half halt. Either you can slow the movement down to help your horse collect up here and not fall forward and rush, or you can stop your horse completely. And you always have your rein aid as a second aid, so I'm always ready to close, my, have it, the reins in a place where I can easily close my hand, <clears throat> my fingers, and my horse responds. But I also want my horse to be just really responsive to begin with, which is a whole nother video. Good girl, love. <clears throat> so even though we're making a very small, almost a 10 meter circle to the right, you'll notice that my belly button stays straight with her wither and rides her straight. I don't drop my weight or lean right now into the right. Not at all, keep riding her straight. She's more advanced, so she knows how to do the shoulder four or the shoulder in. So I'm going with the trot, my pelvis, and I'm gonna tighten and go to a walk. Good girl. So that was a stomach crunch or using my core. So anytime you lose your balance, first of all, don't let your horse go trot too fast, too big, or for too long. Set yourself up for success. That's why we only want to do a few strides at a time or maybe two strides and back down into a walk. You have to develop the feel for that movement and the control. But use your stomach. Don't tighten up in your body all the time. I hope that's helped. I look forward to hearing comments or questions. And may you always be one with your horse.